Specialist Christopher Fields and Military Working Dog AXA demonstrating drug detection techniques at the annual Red Ribbon Week kickoff. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, exceptional family member stop workshop coming up. We'll take a look at the Transition Assistance Seminar Fall lineup and pictures from the annual Father-Daughter Ball. These stories and more, but first, Red Ribbon Week is the country's biggest drug prevention campaign, starting in 1985 in honor of slain drug enforcement agent Enrique Kiki Camarina. Fort Meade's observance began with the annual kickoff event last week. New on the program this year, a demonstration from the military police and working dogs in um, drug detection. I just wanted to let you guys know some things that we do here in Fort Meade. We help out with other patrols on drug-related cases. We also perform health and welfares and we also perform random vehicle searches on the front gates of Fort Meade. So that the Exceptional like Family Member Program, Sonia Blyther and Melissa Hughes outlined the help EFMP can offer if your family member has substance abuse issues. Fort Meade's Army Substance Abuse Program Manager, Samson Robinson, hopes people use Red Ribbon Week to learn more about substance abuse before it's too late. And I too was a person who disconnect myself and say, it doesn't have anything to do with me. But this has to do with every single person because this touches every single person. And I'm hoping you know, before I retire that we fill this place up on all the campaigns because it's all information, not just for people who work at Fort Meade, but for them to carry home outside these gates, you know, to educate their loved ones and things of that nature so we can gain our communities back and pull our country back. In other news, the Exceptional Family Member Program is offering a free two-day STOMP workshop November 14th and 15th. STOMP stands for Specialized Training for Military Parents. Is it the traveling team that comes out? to teach our parents about different categories that can help them uh, better with their children um, with special needs. So it covers things like IEPs, which are indiv individualized education plans. It covers um, financial planning trust for children with special needs, TRICARE, ECHO programs, ABA um, therapies, uh, different things of, of that matter. You can register for the workshop online. Ortiz says you don't have to attend every session. You can pick and choose what interests you. The first day, the agenda focuses on education services and parental rights and responsibilities. Day two, the focus shifts to health services in the morning and life and future planning in the afternoon. For more information, you can contact EFMP at Army Community Services. Meanwhile, Fort Meade's annual Army-Navy flag football game is coming up Tuesday, November 5th on Mullins Field. A free tailgate party starts at 3 o'clock with kickoff at 345. Of course, there's free food and beverages, kids games, and door prizes. You don't want to miss it. Meanwhile, let's take a look at last year's contest. Turning to sports, the Army made it four wins in five years this week after defeating Navy in Fort Meade's annual Army-Navy flag football game. Army scored on its opening possession seven and a half minutes into the game. A two-point conversion made it 8-0. They increased their lead to 14-zip on this running play with just seconds to go in the first half. Army completed the day scoring with eight minutes to go in the game. After the touchdown, the Army's Nick Phillips put the icing on the cake with a spectacular one-handed grab in the corner of the end zone for the two-point conversion. The Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program published their fall seminar lineup this week. A popular seminar is coming back on October 29th, the home buying process. Career exploration and planning is a two-day course. Applying for a federal job is November 1st. Accessing higher education on November 12th and 13th. Marketing yourself for a second career is geared towards transitioning service members. Strategic money management covers key financial issues faced by all retiring or separating service members. Want to start your own business? You don't want to miss the seminar on November 15th. Dress for Success is also coming up on November 15th. And finally, there's another federal job seminar on December 18th. All classes are held in McGill Training Center. To register, call 301-677-9871. Finally this week, a look back at last weekend's annual Father-Daughter Ball at Club Mead. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.